Welcome to Natural Styles, Styling Options for Natural Hair, sponsored by Sharpen Your Skills Continuing Education at Salon. I'm your host, Ayaba Griffin, and today I'm going to be doing a comb out from a sponge roller set. And as you can see, my hair is set in sponge rollers. I'm just going to turn around real quick for you. I'll see it in the back. Got my sponge roller set in. So, first and foremost, I want to say something about the sponge rollers. Um, the sponge rollers that I used on my hair have little small satin sleeves on them. And the reason why I use these type of sponge rollers is so that my hair doesn't get caught in the sponge itself and then cause breakage on the ends of my hair. So, when um, I am recommending a particular type of uh, sponge roller, I always recommend the sponge rollers that come with the satin sleeves on them to protect the ends of your hair. So that's the type of um, sponge roller that I use. So I use this type of style or I wear this type of style or use this type of method um, sometimes after I shampoo and condition my hair. And the reason why is because um, a lot of times after my hair is shampooed and conditioned, there's a level of dryness and roughness to my, to my hair, to the texture of my hair. So I want to get that, that softness and that moisture back into my hair. So sometimes I'll use this particular method to be able to obtain that goal. So when I do that, this particular time I use my, um, my Stay Soft Fro hair and scalp spray to, to soften the ends of my hair. I put that on the end and then I also use the DNA um, defining custard. I put those two products together on the ends of my hair before I rolled it onto the roller. Then that way that that hair is getting those um, those products in there and I'm literally setting those products into my hair and to help give my hair more control, more moisture um, and help with the styling process. So that's what I did when I initially set it the first time. So last night after I set it for the second time, I used um, the BNB Tropical Roots Growth Oil. I use that on my hair and I use my ORS hydrating hair butter. And the reason why I switched over to those two products is because now my hair has the control and the moisture that I was trying to get back into my hair initially after my hair was shampooed and conditioned and it was experiencing um, some dryness to it. And so that happens to my hair, it may happen to yours as well, but it happens to my hair after I shampoo it and condition it um, and I let it dry by itself, the hair feels more rough on the ends and it feels dry. So I'm working to get that moisture back in my hair and get that softness back in my hair. So today I am going to be using my pick and my dimming brush to style my hair. So I'm going to take out my take out my sponge rollers out of my hair and I do did what I call a, a basic just a basic set it's all rolled going back it's a good way to protect the ends of your hair too I know some people um, they braid their hair up or they plait it up after they shampoo it and condition it. That is a great way to protect your, your hair as well. But this is a way that you can protect the ends of your hair and really get your hair back to, way, to the way that you want it to look and to feel.
and it helps you style it at the same time. It takes me about 20 minutes. to put the rollers in my hair. And I do this at night. You don't do this in the morning, you do this at night. So that in the morning, all you have to do is take out the rollers. And style as desired. And I did this with my hair, you know, in its natural state. I didn't blow dry it. I didn't sit under the dryer at all. And this is good for people who don't really like to use a lot of heat on their hair. So I'm going to pick it out. I want to keep my hair in its natural state, but I want it to be soft. And I'm just going to bring it up a little bit on this left side, just a little bit. Not real, real high. And it also stretches it out a little bit as well. Because when you shampoo your hair, natural hair experiences a lot of shrinkage. And my hair is like, looks like it's half the size that it is now after I shampoo and condition my hair and just let it dry by itself. That's how much shrinkage my hair experiences. And it gives me a lot of control to my hair. I don't have to do a whole lot to it. And it gives me a whole lot more control on my hair. Now, I really don't have to put any more products on it because when I set it at night is when I put the products on each subsection of hair. So it gives my hair the softness and the, and the control that I need. So I'm going to turn around so I can show you the sides and the back of my hair. Let's 
see the other side and back around to the front and there you have it there's my comb out from my sponge roller set so it's really really easy like I said 20 maybe 30 minutes at night depending on how much time it takes you to put those sponge rollers in your hair um, minimum product usage and in the morning you just take them out pick your hair out and you just you you know style it and design it as as you want to as you as you want to wear your hair um, you can put ornamentation in it you can put uh, a headband on whatever it is that you want to do it's a simple style it's neat it's, um, it's clean, it's easy, um, it's very professional, you can wear it to work, it's a, it's a great daytime style um, that you can use on your natural hair. And it also brings back that, that softness and that moisture that you need right after you shampoo and condition your hair and you're trying to put those, those two things back into your hair. That softness and that moisture, that's what we're all looking for in our natural hair. So I just wanted to Thank you for joining me for Natural Styles, Styling Options for Natural Hair, brought to you by Sharpen Your Skills, Continuing Education and Salon. Once again, I'm your host, Ayaba Griffin. I'll see you next time.